This video is brought to you by the book, The Airplane Flying Handbook, the classic staple of flight training revised and updated for modern day flight training. It even includes chapter summary videos to help you fully understand each chapter. Visit m0a.com forward slash store to learn more and grab your copy. Hey everyone, Jason Schapper here of m0a.com and welcome into day 26 of our 31 day to safer pilot challenge where today we're talking about finding TFR and NOTAMs. Now those of you that know me and have followed me know I am very big on checking for any NOTAMs and especially checking for any TFRs before each and every flight whether it be a cross-country flight or whether it just be a few laps around the old you know traffic pattern. I mean, literally, and you'll see why here in just a second. So what I use is I go to aviationweather.gov. And if you scroll down right over here on this side here, you'll see standard briefing. So let's go ahead and let's click standard briefing. That loads up and we can scroll down just a little bit more. And you can see, I mean, it's cool. It takes you through the entire standard briefing, the same stuff you'd get on the phone with everybody. But down here at the very bottom, I want you to focus on this here. Notices to airmen. And the very first thing here is the FAA's pilot web notum page. This is the one I use. So let's click on that real quick and just take a look. Um, and literally just type in your locations. Let's do uh, OCF, which is the Ocala Airport, and X-Ray 35, which is where I'm at, just, just to get the local kind of area. And view notams. And here's everything you need right here. I mean, everything from, you know, unlit towers, you know, lights out of service on this tower. It's 566 feet AGL. Um, and it gives you the location of it. Um, or even more important things like take a look at this one for the Denellen Airport X-ray 35 uh, X-ray 35 runway 927 now runway 1028 I mean it's right there in plain English our, our runway did change I was just recently repaved and repainted I can't tell you how many times I'm flying around Denellen and I hear people say inbound to land runway 27 I can't help but think, did, did they not check the NOTAMs? I mean, it is the number one NOTAM right now for the Denellen Airport. Runway 927, now runway 1028. Something as simple as that. Imagine you're turning final and you say runway 27, you're looking on the ground and it says 28 there. You're thinking, man, am I at the wrong airport? You know, what, what did I forget to check? What else could have happened? You know, don't put yourself in that sort of situation. So check this sort of stuff. Check the NOTAMs for each and every flight and you can check them off as you go down to acknowledge hey I've already seen that one before so so you're done um, let's go ahead and let's go back here um, and the last thing I want to show you is checking our TFRs temporary flight restrictions this is super super important when you click on this this will just show you all the TFRs um, I like to do it by state um, some of you may have to check multiple states but I'll go to Florida and click go and literally we just have one TFR today this is the TFR we always have though um, it's over Disney so let's come over here and if you click on the NOTAMS number over here literally I mean it pops up showing you the TFR o uh, overlaid on a sectional chart I mean it doesn't get much more helpful than that you know when you're taking a look at this sort of stuff I mean TFRs have to be checked guys this is the quickest way to you know busting a TFR is the quickest way to get a pod certificate you know suspended or just taken away you need to digest this stuff and fully read through it I mean they give you the pictures they give you the text it doesn't get much easier than that I tell you who to contact um, I'm, I'm sure you all have heard the story that I told um, I can't remember what video series I told him, but the gentleman who had a certificate suspended for 240 days because he busted a TFR. And all it would have taken was, like you saw here, a few simple clicks of the mouse or a click phone call to the flight service station. I mean, easy little things like that. You've got to start covering your butt by checking these NOTAMs and checking these TFRs. That is one of the top ways to become a safer pilot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you'll use that. Again, the, the site was aviationweather.gov. Click standard briefing and everything's there for you from there. 
check this stuff for every flight, whether it be a lap around the pattern or a cross country flight. Nothing will be more impressive too when you go to your instructor and say, hey, I checked, uh, the only notums are this and there's no TFRs within a 100 nautical mile radius of, of flying today, so we're good to go. If, it, if my student came to me and said that, that's impressive right there. So look into your notums, look into your TFRs, and most importantly, remember, that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.